The year 2022 was something that we were really not expecting. When things started out in the first three months of the year, we were still in a virtual show format. There was really not any in-person events and they started coming really in April after Alberta opened and it just exploded. It was something that uh, I had personally never experienced before and myself and all of my dueling partners really had to be far more conscious of our vocal stamina. With uh, one of my dueling partners, Jesse Peters, he brings a hip hop and rap element to our show which you really won't see in a lot of other dueling piano shows. His ability to really dig deep into that genre and keep it very authentic for a lot of our audiences, it's the last thing that they expect to see. One of the things that we've, we've added to Dueling Piano King's player roster is female Dueling Piano players. And for many of our events, it's been quite a game changer. We are able to do pairings with male-female or female-female. Some of the challenges that we had this year was volume of shows that we had. There are a lot of other players that are operating and playing under the Dueling Piano Kings brand. And even with the number of teams that we have that are able to go out and do the shows, we did not have enough. Any show that, that we do, the, the development of our QR code app allows the fan, no matter where you are in the building, in the venue, to interact with us instantly using our smartphone and send song requests up to us in real time. Pure Casino was one of the first shows we did in front of a live audience in probably almost three years. What was really great about it was we were so thrilled to be back playing live music in front of people and the audience was just so welcoming, so enthusiastic. The show that we did in Prince George in October was a thank you to all the frontline workers in the city of Prince George who had made so many contributions during the COVID era. The group that we were raising funds for is called Honor House. And what they do is they help frontline workers who have PTSD. So Stance House in, in Regina was that, uh, for me, was my favorite show of 2022. Every team's fan was in that venue. That was the third time we had done Stamps House. And I think people knew that that show was just always a riot. We expect to be very busy in the coming year and years beyond.